Welcome to section 6. In this video, we're going to be talking about SSH installations. SSH is a cryptographic network protocol for operating network services securely over an unsecured network. SSH provides a secure channel over an unsecured network in the client server architecture that is connecting to an SSH client application with an SSH server. So common application include remote command line login and remote command execution. Or any network service can be secured with SSH. If we go straight to our terminal over here, we need to install SSH or confirm if SSH is actually installed in our Linux system. So to do that, the first thing we do is we do sudo yum install open ssh-server and enter and after doing that you type in your password and enter and this will go right ahead and install our ssh server all right package open ssh already installed and this is actually one of the advantages you get when you have sent over seven many administrative tools are actually installed when you first install the system or they come with the operating system itself so let's clear this off now that we have our ssh working and that is good so to check and see if our ssh service is running we can just do sudo system ctl enable sshd then enter and this will enable sshd or we can just do systemctl status to check the status of our sshd and enter and we can see that this is actually active running which is when we start our system from boot this will actually show that it is running or we can do systemctl start sshd and that will start sshd or we can do systemctl restart sshd and that will restart sshd and we'll check the status again and we can see sshd is active so we can just do system ctl then enter and this will list the number of the units the load the active sub and the description of each service is running and you can see right here we have loaded active running services in our linux system ssh was designed as a replacement for telnet and for unsecured remote shell protocols such as berkeley our login rsh and our sec protocols and we can see the ssh logo here and the telnet logo here all right 